Good morning. Today we read, Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? That's from Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14. Angels are the unseen attendants of the saints of God. They bear us up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. Loyalty to their Lord leads them to take a deep interest in the children of his love. They rejoice over the return of the prodigal to his father's house below, and they welcome the advent of the believer to the king's palace above. In olden times, the sons of God were favored with their visible appearance, and at this day, although unseen by us, Heaven is still opened, and the angels of God ascend and descend upon the Son of Man, that they may visit the heirs of salvation. Seraphim still fly with the live coals from off the altar to touch the lips of men greatly beloved. If our eyes could be opened, we should see horses of fire and chariots of fire about the servants of the Lord. For we have come to an innumerable company of angels who are all watchers and protectors of the seed royal. Spencer's line is no poetic fiction where he sings, How oft do they with golden pinions cleave the flitting skies like flying pursuivant against foul fiends to aid us militant. To what dignity are chosen elevated when the brilliant courtiers of heaven become their willing servitors. Into what communion are we raised since we have intercourse with spotless celestials? How well are we defended since all the 20,000 chariots of God are armed for our deliverance? To whom do we owe all this? Let the Lord Jesus Christ be forever endeared to us, for through him we are made to sit in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. He it is whose camp is round about them that fear him. He is the true Michael whose foot is upon the dragon. All hail Jesus, thou angel of Jehovah's presence, to thee this family offers its morning vows.